In this video, I'll be making a complex called the Schweizer's reagent from copper hydroxide and concentrated ammonia. This complex is unique because it's one of the few things that's capable of dissolving cellulose, and in this case, I'll be dissolving a page out of my old French book. To make the Schweizer's reagent, I will need 3 grams of copper hydroxide and 150 milliliters of concentrated ammonia. The two are then mixed together until the solution goes a dark blue colour, indicating that the Schweizer's reagent has been made. Once the copper hydroxide was fully dissolved, I proceeded on to the next step. I found my victim, the worst page in my French book that my French teacher clearly didn't like. I tore this page out of my French book and then ripped it into smaller pieces so it would fit inside my beaker. About six hours later, the solution had become quite viscous and at the bottom there was a pulp made out of undissolved cellulose and undissolved copper hydroxide. I then added the Swiss's reagent with the dissolved cellulose into a 10% acid solution to make these noodle-like shapes. What I think is happening here is the Swiss's reagent is being broken apart by the hydrochloric acid to precipitate the cellulose and create nitrogen gas, ammonium chloride, water and copper chloride. I think the nitrogen gas either dissolves into the solution or it reacts with the hydrochloric acid to make nitrogen trichloride. But once again, I'm not sure. To destroy any remaining Swiss's reagent, I stirred around the precipitated cellulose in my acid solution. I did this until the deep blue colour of the Swiss's reagent had gone, meaning that the Swiss's reagent had been completely neutralised in the acid. I filtered the solution and then left it to dry for a few days. A few days later, I was left with this sponge-like substance. It was really easy to rip, and I think the closest thing I could compare it to was a wet paper towel. I've also just remembered that I forgot to wash out the cellulose in the filter. Therefore, some copper chloride from the solution will still be on the cellulose, giving it that green colour. 